Um, and now I would like for Gene Lee to share his knowledge with us because he is definitely somebody that we need to be aware of what he's going to teach us because we're all going to need this, especially if you're living somewhere where you have control of your gate, you know, any of these uh, shut off stuff. Stuff, yeah. So thank you. Thank okay. you very much. Good evening. Uh, I'm Gene Lee from Visitation Valley. <clears throat> and we'll be talking a little bit about uh, utility shutoff. Um, the first set of uh, slides will be the different types of electrical shutoffs. So when would we have an opportunity or when should we sh shut the electrical power off when we're deployed into a, um, for example, a home? When would we do it? <clears throat> we would do it if we have wires laying around bare wires. There's all sorts of different types of shutoff. I've got, I'll go, go ahead, ne next slide. This is one type here where you, you just hit the, um, the, the bottom part to shut it off. It's similar to here. Go ahead. Ano another type that is still in use. These um, uh, shutoffs are still in use today. They're over 50, 70 years old and they're still using it. Another very old style, similar to the style over here, where it takes the, mm -hmm. these are um, fuses that, I, I got them so tight that because people keep taking them off on me. But anyways, uh, the, the glass fuses that are almost obsolete, all right? Are those ones that look like the bullets? Yes, they, they're, uh, they, they screw in like a light bulb, yeah. all right? Yeah. They're, we have Okay, yeah. but they're very hard to find in the hardware stores now, okay? And I've seen this personally where, where people couldn't find the replacement uh, fuse. They put pennies into it, and that defeats the entire purpose of uh, safety on um, electrical system. So this is a very, very old style here. And there's another unusual one is, and this is, where to disconnect the main, you have to pull the block out, all right? These are still in, in uh, service today. So it all depends on which house you go into. It's, you can have a variety of different types of uh, electrical shutoffs. And good, good. the most modern one is your circuit breaker. And the top left is generally the main shutoff. The main shutoff has a bar tying the two together. You, can, you cannot shut just one leg off. It has to be both, all right? So look for the main as the top left. Generally, it's top left. If you shut that one off, Towards the center is on, out is off. That's something that you need to uh, be aware of. So there's, again, different styles. You have a multi uh, multiple uh, circuit breakers, or you can have where it's a, a, it's a, um, a smaller unit here. Now, <clears throat> as we get into solar panels, if the system has a solar system attached to it, there will be a warning attached to the front of the box. What that means, even though you shut off the, the main, shut it off, you shut off the one that says solar panel, the wires coming from the solar panels themselves to the inverter are always live. If the conduit is broken from the um, solar panels to the inverter, those wires are live. You cannot shut that off unless you cover up the array, the, the solar panels themselves, all right? So be very careful of what system is laying on the ground. The solar panel circuitry, the conduit leading to the uh, inverter to the uh, circuit breaker 
it will be labeled solar uh, array, solar power. So if you see something that says solar, uh, anything that says solar with a conduit laying on the ground, that is live. You cannot shut that off. So you need to be aware of that. So when we go to uh, deploy it into a house for whatever reason, you see uh, conduit wires laying on the ground, assume that they're alive. That's the only time you would you know, come and shut off the, the main. You don't need to do anything else, the main, that will shut the entire system off, okay? And afterwards, I'll let you come up here and uh, to take a look at um, what it really looks like and you can feel the, uh, the toggles on what it feels like to shut it on and off. And, right, next. Okay, this is the gas shut off. This is generally, this is inside the house. Where the arrow's pointing is the O style shut off valve. This valve has been in existence for over 80 years. It probably hasn't been moved for that long of a period of time. It is very, very tight. All right. I have tools for shutting it off. I'll show you how, how they work uh, a little bit later on the presentation here. So this is on the inside of the house. Anybody know what that round thing is up in the top there? That's the um, pressure regulator. From where that valve is, is, is a higher pressure. That reduces it to about seven pounds. Seven pounds is generally the amount of pressure that's coming out of your uh, stove, out of your furnace. It's not 100 pounds. Pressure regulator, very important, okay? Now, this is a similar valve that's on the outside of the house. When uh, PG&E was uh, redoing the, uh, the valves and the um, street, if the homeowner didn't want the valve inside, they put it on the outside, and that, that's fine. If you smell gas, um, on the, from the outside, you, th there's a shut off for it, okay? Uh, the next one. This is interesting here. This is a multiple, multi-unit uh, uh, building. It has four separate valves in it. It has one main valve, this one right here. That's the main valve. It will shut off the entire building. Up on the top where it circles are to the individual units. So when will we shut off? How, how do we know which uh, valve to shut off? You look at the meter. If the meter is spinning fast, yeah. that is the, it tells you that the line inside the house is broken. Because during normal use, you are, the meter uh, needles are very slow. You can hardly see it move. Right, but if you, if you see it spinning, you know, moving rapidly, you've got a breach in the uh, line itself. That is the uh, meter, the valve to shut off. You don't need to shut off the entire building, All right? And um, with, with the new appliances today, um, we're going more towards um, electronic ignition. We don't have pilot lights anymore. So if you have a newer stove, oven, a uh, uh, furnace, it uses an electronic igniter. So if you have a gas leak, there's less chance of an explosion. All right, with an explosion, you have to have the right mixture of air and gas. So if you just have a little bit of gas, it's, it, nothing's gonna happen, you, you'll smell it. If you have a lot of gas, if this entire room is filled with gas, it won't explode either because there's not enough oxygen for it to combust. The hazard there, if you go into a room that has, is filled with gas, there's no oxygen, you die, all right? So we shut off the uh, gas if you uh, uh, suspect um, 
uh, if you smell the, uh, the, the gas smell, okay, go to the next one here. Now, you, you see the um, meters, they're, they're spinning fast, and you, there's a um, heavy smell of gas. Well, don't go into the building, don't go into the, the house. Shut off the gas from the street. There's, in San Francisco, we still have the gas shutoff valves in the street. It's right outside the house. It, the old valves, this is a new, uh, a new cover, and that is, uh, has the latest gas valve from PG&E in the street. This is one of the original <laughs> gas valves. Oh my God. That is, was buried in the street. This, this was uh, like 70 years plus old. And it, it, it could be still older than tight to is. turn because it, nobody touches them from the street, all right? Okay, go, go to the next one there. There's another type of valve. It's a quarter turn valve. This thing is about two and a half feet down. This valve, you cannot reach down and pull it up. You need a tool for that, all right? On that lever there, there's a, uh, there's a hole where you would use a tool similar to this to hook onto it to pull it up. You do not have enough strength to reach down two and a half feet and turn it. You, it's, it's impossible. So if you have a tool like this, it's, it's great. In my go kit, I created this to hook onto that type of valve. For some strange reason, my street, every single house has this type of valve on it. Mm. Other streets have the gate valve. So what I do is hook, hook this onto the hole that's on the um, arm there, then I can pull it straight up, all right? This is compact. Sir? Yeah, are, are these homes that were built in the 40s, 30s, 20s? My house was built in the 40s. Oh, wow. Wow. And it has that valve in it. Okay. Um, the, across the street, it has the gate valve. I, I have no idea when they uh, switched over, okay? So, let me go to the next one. This is the, the latest valve from pg and &E. It's a composite valve. It's really easy to turn, all right? So with the new cover, if you see the new cover on it, it will have this type of valve in it. If it has the O style, either this or the quarter turned valve. Now, okay, well, I'll go on to the next Please. one first. Gene? Yes. Um, quick question. Yes. Um, can you go back a slide for me? Yes. Sorry, Wanda. No, there. No. So that there is a long lever. Yes. That stays, and that's what you hooked yes. onto to pull. Correct. Okay. All the way to the top right here. Yes. The hole. I gotcha. I see. Okay. I. It almost looked like someone had left a wrench there. Oh, yeah. It, it looks like somebody left a tool. Uh, but no. I see, that is always there. You just have to hook onto it to pull up. OK, thank you. OK, but you, you, you cannot physically pull it up by hand, sticking your arm down. Yes, ma'am. No, with the new one. With the new one. With the new one. Is it a quarter turn? It's a quarter turn. It's a quarter turn. For the new one. Oh, for the new one. It's a composite. Uh, it's a composite valve. That one. It's, it's just a, a quarter turn. Okay. In line with that yellow is the flow, and when the okay. yellow is, okay. it's, it's a block. Okay. Those, those are a lot easier to turn. Um, you, you, if you have a tool similar to this, okay. to reach down, to turn, quarter turn. It's just a quarter turn. You have enough leverage here, all right? 
Okay, the next slide. Okay, water shut off. This is what you will see for the water shut off. This, this cover, every cover is this type now, and I'll show you what's behind it. Good. It's a battery on the top there, and it's wired to a transmitter on your meter itself. So uh, the water department do not have to come by to lift open your cover to read the meter anymore. They just walk by and scan it. This thing is transmitting all the time. So when you lift the cover off, be careful that you don't yank the wires off. If you do, water department is going to come after you. Yes. Yes. Again, that's the valve right there. Again, that's a quarter turn. And those little ears with the hole, that's where the water department would put their padlock on. If you don't pay your water bill, it gets locked off. And that's the way to do it right there. Okay, good. Now, tools. These are tools you're going to need. If you're going into the street valves for the gas or the water, sir. So you keep saying street, but don't you mean sidewalk? Sidewalk, I'm, I'm sorry. Sidewalk, street, sidewalk. Correct. Thank you. So it's on the sidewalk. The first tool you're going to need is the screwdriver to go into the hole to lift the cover up. First thing. The second thing you're going to need is a little shovel because inside is going to be buried in mud and there's going to be all sorts of creepy crawlies inside. <laughs> all right, that's guaranteed. So if you haven't looked inside your uh, water meter or the gas meter, you, you may not see the valve. You need to clear the dirt from it, all right? Second tool, if you're going inside the valve, this is what I use. Adjustable wrench. This is a 12-inch um, adjustable wrench. Open it till it fits the, the valve's head straight down. Screwdriver for leverage and turn. All right? This is for shutting off this gas valve also. I'll, I'll let you try the, um, to shut it off yourself here to see how tight this valve really is. Yeah. So, the water shut off. I don't know why I missed that one. The water shut off valve is very similar to that. I don't know why I skipped that. Um, it's the first valve in your garage that comes out from the ground. The, um, the handle, the knob, is normally white and red, or it could be blue to signify water, or it could be black, but it's the first pipe in your garage that comes up. It'll look just like that, and it may have um, a hose bib attached above it. And that's the inside in, inter, internal water shutoff valve. So why would we shut off the water from the, uh, when would we need to shut off the water? You have a Broken pipe and you've got a flood inside, mm -hmm. all right? It un undermines the foundation, you waste water. Um, or yes, you know, from earthquake, the pipe might be broken. Oh, that's on the outside if they hit it with a pickaxe. <laughs> so. Now. Gene, I, I think it's in our book, if I'm not mistaken, because I think that was one of the questions uh, in Truth or Not in the game that we played last time. That was one of the questions. And I think it said, if the water stops coming out of your pipes completely after an earthquake, that the suggestion was that you should turn off the water at the main because you don't know when it's going to come back on. And if you don't have everything shut off inside, you could have a flood. Does that sound right? 
Oh, I know. It was in the S. It was in the water department. That's what they okay. said to do. Also, you want to shut it off because if the uh, main line is breached, you will get also the contamination into your water. So if your if your water system is on, you can contaminate your home water system. Okay. So that's I think that's what they're referring to for you to shut off. If you all of a sudden you lose water from from outside in the street somewhere, it generally means that the main water has been uh, breached. So you're going to get also the dirt and everything else back when when they backfill it. Okay. So I, I think that's what they were referring to for you to shut off uh, the main. All right. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Is that is that any time that that the water quits running, like so to speak, like they have that sinkhole and they turn the main water off? Should you, in your house, turn it off until they have it fixed, or is it okay to leave it on? I would shut it off just to avoid contamination coming through until they say that um, they fixed the um, the line. Okay. Because. The first time, um, okay, to get a big hole there, you're going to have also uh, mud debris going into the main line. All right? It's going to, how does it get out? By flushing it. Do you want to flush it into your house? Okay. Okay. Well, that's what would make sense. Yeah. But I'm just yeah. yeah. But in a case like that, would um, there be air in the pipes? And there will be, yeah, yes. Have to everything up and yes. Just, just, just be careful when you turn it on because it'll. Yeah you know, burp on you, <laughs> right? Any more questions? You, you are welcome to come up and uh, try my props here. I'm going to have all my material at the um, October drill. It's going to uh, normally call the hazards room, okay? And I'll have various things in operation for you to it will challenge you on how to mitigate the problem. So I'm giving you a, a preview of what's going to be inside the hazards room. That'd be great. Right. Thank you, Gene. Okay. So Thank you very you're, much. You're welcome and to come I, up I and, why and we try this out. And come on up and look yes. at things. And then following this, um, we will be passing out your little question, because we are going to be playing truth or nah. And that's truth or false. And we have all the questions ready to go. And we have prizes ready to go. And there was a lovely donation by Jean for a door prize. So there's one door prize. And some lucky person will get the door prize as well. So please take a few minutes and come up and I, look I at I encourage you to come up and at least try the gas shut off. Yes. This is the old style. This is the new style. That, uh, yeah. You see how tight that is? Yeah. Okay, good, good. And once it's in this position, um, it's, it's off. Yeah. All right? You know what? So that's off. Uh, now, with the new valves, there's a class it's, it's really, you can even almost do it by hand. Oh, okay. But um, oh. then you can, you can get way that's cheaper. That's, yes, if you, don't, yes. If, you don't, <laughs> if you don't pay your gas bill, that's where, that's where they will put the, the, the lock on. But this type of valve, is what, what I've done can, only have to go is <coughs> instead of yeah. tying my tool you know what? We would next to the uh, gas hands. shut off um, because like the my family knows like where to find tools. They don't know where it belongs. Okay. Oh, you did? Okay. You did so the two classes? <laughs> oh, that's I, I made something like this. It's just oh, yeah. bar and uh, hollow it yeah. out. Yeah, will you send me the dates? And Would you mind sending yeah. me the dates? No, yeah, right? no, no. no uh, I actually, I'll have to tell you. Yeah, there it is. Because actually, you have more leverage now. Okay? Right. So, right. by having yeah. this next to your uh, gas yeah. meter, oh, that's nobody's right. going to take it. It's, o it's only so, good for so she, you did one she purpose did only. She did one. I don't have to worry about it. Uh, so, oh. there's two extra. Yes. Yeah. I have two with only me. Yeah, you, you drill it, you drill, okay. and then just follow in between to open yeah. up the slot. Perfect. Perfect. Is that a wood if, if it's, it's metal. metal. Yeah. Quarter yeah. inch? Or you, it's heavy. It's heavy. It's not going to bend. Okay. 
Yeah. You, you want to give this? Okay, let, let me re reset this. Let me, let me reset this. I don't think the, the regroup. It's just one half. Okay. And you and you have another commercially available thing like yeah. this. Do you think you got okay. it? Okay. Try it. Try one? with this on this valve. I sent it out on. Oh, I sent it out on Monday. You you should wait to pu uh, push well, down. Maybe it did go out. I don't know. It I used Google Mail for one. And then I used. That I think is Google. The one from the yeah. three groups. I don't know what it says. Like, okay. how do you know? Oh, I think it no. just has my name. Really? Yeah, just put, 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 it, put it inside. Yeah, okay. Can you tell? Okay. I cannot do it. Okay. It, 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 it's very, very tight. Now, try it with a 10-inch no, adjustable it wrench. Have, oh wait, we'll put it on here. It put it on yeah, here. Yeah, but I have her mixed. But the thing oh, is, oh, sorry. Okay. But does it have... Now, now you use your weight to uh, pull down. No, you know what? <laughs> no, that's just that's These just valves us. are tight. Oh, yeah. That's just it's us. Came from your no, that's but, not it. It would come from... Yeah. Just, <laughs> yeah, you just turn it a little bit, otherwise you end up shutting everything off and you get another uh, another problem, okay? But with this tool, you can just go like this, see? see? But th this is a typical valve in San Francisco. That's what, that is what it's going to be. If not made and making it tight. So uh, if about uh, five years ago, it's through different neighborhoods. I haven't got mine yet. No, I said you need to make a dough. They may be. Uh, I don't think so. But yeah, thank you. I don't press it. Yeah, we don't know where we tried that too. That's, it's already so heavy. Oh, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a oh, yeah. yeah, this one is a lot easier. Yes. Yeah. Let me try this one. Okay, try it. Okay. super long one, then if you that don't one. have the same like this. That's right. You know what? But then... I think you should stop selling it. Nah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You, you want to give it a try? Okay. I'll let you try yeah. with the standard one. I'm not going to... Uh, this is what she said, Yes. Okay. So, so to her point, I'm just going to tighten it. Yeah. To her point, usually it's righty, tighty, but in this it, case, it, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. So I just need to use my body weight. Right. Way. You you use your body weight rather than trying right. to. Your arm. arm. <laughs> right. Right. Okay. okay. Let me just get it back. This isn't as easy though. It's not. Too I have. Yeah. Nope.